Bravo, Stevie Why He's gone out there and done it again. The Red Wings today announced they have signed defenseman Ole Mata to a two-year contract extension worth $3 million AAV. And this, at face value, might seem like a deal that is kind of questionable. There's a lot of people on the R Hockey subreddit, for example, saying, wait a minute, why? This guy was an expiring contract. The Red Wings are not too amazing of a team. Mata is 28 years old. Why do you want to sign this guy? What are you doing, Stevie? Why? And honestly, the way this player has been playing the past little while and just the process as to which the Red Wings decor is going to have to grow and develop the next few years, re-signing a guy like Oli Mata is honestly a pretty solid move. And it's mostly because... The dollar amount, firstly, is only a slight increase. He's making 2.25 this season and 3 million for the next two seasons. You sign the guy for cheap after he was a $4 million guy for, what was that, six years for the Penguins, the Blackhawks, and the Kings? You got this guy for cheap in free agency, he was pretty alright with the wings, and you're now signing him to a contract extension wherein he'll probably be able to expand and grow a little bit more. He has 17 points in 49 games played this season on pace for 27 points in 78 games. And honestly, it's not even really just about the points with Olimata. Sure, he had had 29-point seasons with the Penguins back in the day. And I say back in the day, it was kind of like seven years ago, so not really too far back in the day, but Mata has been just so solid for the Red Wings this season that there's a reason Steve Eiserman decided to sign him and keep him around instead of trading him for some second or third round pick that they could have gotten for him instead. Sure, you could debate, oh, value, rebuild, rebuild, you could have gotten a second round pick, a nice prospect that probably could have helped the team out in, let's say, six or seven years. Or you could have yourselves a pretty good stopgap that is a legitimately solid defenseman for the team right now and allow other pieces of your decor to grow and fill out the roster over the next two seasons. You got guys like Simon Edvinson who are probably going to work themselves onto this roster some way or another the next little while here. You still have Jake Wallman that you're going to have to re-sign because that guy's been pretty solid as well. And with potential additions, like as we said, Edvinson, not to mention William Volinder, who is in there, Albert Johansson, there are a few guys on the Red Wings prospect system that realistically could be challenging for a spot on the blue line the next few seasons. You gotta ask, okay, you got Austerly, you got Haig, you got other players that are probably gonna phase themselves out of the Red Wings blue line over the next few years. So a guy like Olimada being a stopgap in that process is a pretty good one to be having because he's just been so solid and he's kind of earned the right to get a bit of a pay raise here. He sort of fit really well, didn't he? Like immediately stepping into the Red Wing system, he's been a pretty good fit and he just kind of fits the style of defense that Derek Lalonde wants this team to play. He's not really too aggressive. He's not really too offensively amazing. He's just simple. He's in his own zone, cutting off passing lanes, just making the right reads, not really being too active. He's more passive on his overall defending style, but it works for him. And we've been seeing it throughout the past few months here that Mata has been one of the more reliable defenders the Red Wings have to offer, that re-signing him and keeping him around is honestly not a terrible move. So you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your opinions about the Red Wings re-signing Oli Mata? It's two years long. The extension kicks in 2023-2024. It is a $3 million AAV. This is a pretty good stopgap, in my opinion, to transition the Red Wings from old to young, but I want you to tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this Vrishash Rolls 99, and bye.